Hello, welcome to IMHO. Hi. In my homosexual opinion, I am Auntie Chan. And I am Cat Equals Lady. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so happy to be back for another week. Oh, very happy. This was uh, episode eight. Episode eight. It feels like episode 38, but it's Does only it? eight. It's yes. only eight. Oh, we're so tired. My week, I was uh, making a sandwich in the kitchen and a mouse ran under my refrigerator. Um, so I woke up my naked boyfriend. Uh, he was sleeping. Nude. And uh, he came in and we like, our refrigerator faces the back door. So our plan was we built like kind of a pathway, like so that the mouse, when it came out, could only really go to the back oh, door. Oh no. Well, the mouse started towards the back door, but then kind of didn't know what was going on. So it actually turned and went towards him. So it kind of spooked him a little. So we hit it with the broom. No. Trying to hit it outside, but he ended up slamming it against the door. And it landed like with its head kind of slightly <gasps> detached. And then this morning, I was like, what a beautiful sunny day in Chicago. I'm gonna open the back door and let in the fresh air. And I opened the back door, I'm on the phone with Alexis. I opened the back door and I didn't know that the body was still out there. And I just see like the carcass of a beaten mouse. And I just went, ah! Is it still outside on the porch? I think so. Will you go take care of that, Alexis? But Would before that, come, that, come here and say hi to the people. Are you oh, serious? Yes, of course. Come, come say on. hi. Alexis Bevels. Oh, she looks Wee. so comfortable. Hi. Alexis did not kill any mice this week, but she did kill a cat. No, I didn't kill a cat. A cat died in her arms that, in the back oh, of an Uber. God. Yeah, that is true. And you you didn't know the cat's name at first. Shh. No, 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 I did. No, Josephine. she knew it. She knew it. Josephine. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. So mice, a way to get rid of them, cruelty free. Mm -hmm. If if you have another mice problem, I like to get these little. Okay, maybe it's not cruelty free. They're they're mouse traps that snap as soon as anything steps on it. But you put like a it's little the opposite dab of, of peanut peanut butter. cruelty free. I oh, you think the peanut butter makes it cruelty free? I think because well, they get a treat. Oh, it's delicious. If you're if you have, <laughs> ew, if you have a peanut allergy, it's it's a no, obviously. But the mice. Well, love it does the, the same peanut. thing as the mouse trap. If you have a peanut allergy, take a little bite. You dead too. You know. It's a people trap. To make it fun, cut out a, a wrist and mm -hmm. then just attach it to the end so when it snaps, it's like a gay limp. It's like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we got a mouse. Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> bloop, bloop. Uh, that's our first IMHO oh, merch. <laughs> It's going to be the gayest mouse trap. <laughs> well, that was our death of the episode. So uh, we already got that out of okay, the way. Okay, good. Uh, so we start the episode, Raj is gone. We're coming down from emotions that are very high. Very high. Um, Silky is both upset with Evie and Brooklyn. Um, so we had that moment. I mean, mm -hmm. it was just a continuation of Untucked. I don't think we have to get too deep mm -hmm. into it. But the thing that did make me giggle was Silky, uh, while she was trying to give an example of something that Brooklyn did, um, she said, for example, eh? And I really that was the little it. joke, right? I don't think so. Like she seemed very serious. I loved it. I thought it was like so I, funny. I picked up on that too, and I didn't want to go into it because someone in the comments earlier I was upset that you were making fun of the way people talk. Yes, I know. But for but example, it's pretty funny. For example, it's pretty funny. Oh, and then Evie and Vanji got back into their thing, um, and Vanji's like, I don't need your opinion, and then Evie did her whole thing of like, fine, I'll let you be in the bottom. And I was like, ooh. Everything she says in her confessionals, she says to their face, yes. That's great, she's keeping it 100. Me like. But she's also like being mean. Like you don't, <laughs> you know, you can be honest, but there are also times you just need to pull back a little. Mm -hmm. Like that's part of being two-faced is one of your faces is nice. Right. Is this the Gemini in you? Yes, well, I had a little Gemini in me once, but... Oh, a little one? Yeah. Well, he got taken away by the state. Be nice. Oh, wait, the what? I had a... Had a bit of a... My white Valentino bag. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> that's a little meme for you. Um, no, I, I just... She, later on in the episode, she does admit that she could be a little nicer. And I think, hopefully in the next episode, we won't start another episode with Evie kind of just giving opinions. Okay. Is that fair? Fair enough. Is that fair? Okay. It's good TV, but... Am I canceled? 
probably. All right, so then we move into the mini challenge, uh, which is really just a commercial for RuPaul's new book, Guru. Oh, man. Sold in Barnes & Noble from the year 2000. Uh, so we have the mini challenge. They all had to create their own book. Yes. The funniest part to me was uh, Vanjie forgot her own name. She had to look on the note card uh, <laughs> because she forgot her own name. It's, I would buy that book. It's a lot of pressure. The cameras are on. You have, it is a lot of you have to sell to them that not only are you the author of a book, but you are literate. They were fine. None of the books were like amazing. Um, Sugar had her book, Booty Food. <laughs> honey, you can be sexy from the bedroom to the kitchen, honey. honey I don't know oh, what I'm saying anymore. Just buy the book, honey. <laughs> You sound just like her. Honey, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I am just giving you body. <laughs> I am giving you sequence. I'm giving you booty full. I'm giving you booty full, honey. Nina did make fun of her own broad shoulders. She, like, talked about proportionizing. I thought that was kind of cute. Right. Just, like, lean into she it. She looked like the letter T. Yeah, she did. <laughs> bam, bam. She really... She did. Didn't she? She was going to have a hard time going through doors. You said... You know what she did. You know what? You know what? I do know the letter T. Yes. I have seen that letter I, before. Yeah. Capital. Yeah. Uh, capital. Capital Nina. Easter's coming. Oh, uh, it's not the letter Friday. T. We're, we are actually recording this on Good Friday. Oh, there. Um, a gay comedian who I love, Mike Kelton, he tweeted out today, I'd be super pissed if my religion called the day that I die Good Friday. <laughs> <laughs> a religion named after me. And then Silky won the challenge by, again, having another mini challenge where she ends it by pulling food out of somewhere and eating it. Next week, she'll probably pull out a gallon of milk and just start drinking it. And so like, this is not the mini milk. challenge. This is a photo shoot. Oh, and then we find out, plot twist, Morgan McMichaels works for Postmates now. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, Morgan. You're, you're in face, guys. You're look up Yeah, Morgan. you're in your Postmates outfit. <laughs> Do you want to come do this thing? And she's like, fine. They're re they really have those girls under contract, huh? <laughs> too. Then they announce that the maxi challenge is snatch game at sea for no reason. Ooh! How exciting was that? Yeah, I don't know. Did we ever find out why it was at sea? I think you can gamble if you're on water. Um, well, these queens were making bold choices they this were, week, they so were it was a gamble. <gasps> oh, oh, there's the connection. There we go. Very. This there is, we go. This is the wit that no one pays to see. So then they start walking around the workroom. Jinx is there, which was so exciting. Mm -hmm. I love Jinx. Obviously, very iconic. The Jinx walking around the workroom was great. There was no like real curveballs. You know, usually they'll show like the really confident person, and you're like, oh, they're gonna do bad mm -hmm. later on. But everyone that did bad, like during the walkthrough, were like, I'm gonna do bad. And everyone that thought they were gonna do good, did good. There was no like curveballs, really. So, yeah, so let's move into the Snatch game. We had our guest judges, Tony Hale from Arrested Development and V. Woo! Would do him. Clea Duvall, who was most recently on Broad City as Abby's girlfriend. I'm pretty sure she was on 90210. I mean, she's definitely Emily done Valentine. stuff. She's got one of those like faces where she's done a lot. But most recently, I saw her on Broad City when she played Abby's. Oh, okay. Yeah. I figured let's just go down the line mm -hmm. and we'll go down like celebrity <coughs> people. All right. So we had Akira as Tiffany Haddish. I thought that she was painted as Tiffany. The mannerisms were down. She was funny. She found jokes. She she definitely referenced like she referenced the Will Smith thing. She referenced yeah. She, yeah, she kept her her references clean. Was it like the best? No, but was it like a safe, fun, mm -hmm. funny thing? Yeah. Doing a comedian is an interesting choice for a Snatch Game because you're doing someone that says funny things as opposed to someone that has funny mannerisms. Well, Monique did it on the last All Star. She did Tiffany Haddish. Um, and if I had to choose one, I think Akira's references were more on point. Mm -hmm. Monique's characterization was more on point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when it comes to a successful Snatch Game, we should have references, we should have mannerisms, yes. and ultimately be funny. Exactly. Well, Perfect. Tiffany Haddish has a very high energy, like, persona. And Monique had that, and I don't think Akira was yeah. high energy. Akira she needed, had like, references. a wine glass or something, like, very party. Yeah, she, she had her, but she had her references on. So that That's was, good. She, she was good. Brooklyn as Celine Dion. Brooklyn as Celine. She looked 
She didn't look the part, I didn't think. Uh-uh. Can I say something? Yes. Uh, the backwards suit is perfect. It's like iconic Celine yeah. Dion, and that's what I wanted Milk to wear during Milk's All-Star season. Remember yeah. when she did that weird yeah. Yeah. thing? Mm-hmm. That's all I'm gonna Brooklyn's, say. Brooklyn's backwards suit was perfect. The hair was awful. Um, the makeup wasn't like reading. And also, like, her French accent wasn't strong. No. No, 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 no. I mean, and I wanted, like, I wanted the Kathy Griffin, like, impression of Celine, you know, <laughs> where she's always like, Rene, Rene and Jalil, the oldest Canadian. Just be stupid with it. In the world. Yeah, to like, take somebody who already has a good impression and use that. Yeah. I would, after the second joke that I bombed, I'd be like, this is not going well. She needed to paint more like a veiny neck. I think that would have just really mm-hmm. sold the character to me. Yeah, and like Anne had the courts of Renee on Chaville. <laughs> you can, and if you're Canadian, you can actually get that on loan. This was a tour de force. Nina West oh. as both Harvey Firestein and Joanne Worley. Now those are uh, characters that are probably in your wheelhouse. That is more my generation. Yeah, so uh, Harvey Firestein though, you know, <laughs> obviously, yeah. I knew her. Uh, I, I sat behind her uh, at the, one of the previews of Kinky Boots while it was still in Chicago and they were still working out the kinks. But I sat behind Harvey Firestein and he had two, he had a twink on either side and he'd like lean over and be like, we need to cut that line. Or like, cause it was very, very much still like in the working, you know? And I remember during one song specifically, he leaned over and he's like, I don't like this at all. And then I was watching it and I was like, I don't like this either. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the Harvey Fire scene was very funny and I thought it was such a good choice. Mm-hmm. Now, Joanne Worley, were you familiar? I have no idea. No idea. Is. So Michelle made a good point. She was like, you, you chose well because that is one of RuPaul's favorite. So it is a much older choice. Her character really was exactly what Nina did. She was very well known for going, whoa! That was how she like, oh. she would do a punchline okay. and then she'd go, whoa! Like that. <laughs> I mean, uh, and woo! The, yeah. uh, shut off! Like little Richie. <laughs> In the 70s, it was like high art. You should absolutely I like, should. I, I win this episode is over. Okay. Uh, you should look up Joanne Worley. No, right now. Yeah, right now. Plus, D. Tierra did Lovely Mimi. Um, okay. It was okay. It was surprised me. She did have a line that made me laugh when she said she would throw in T.S. Madison. And she goes, can you imagine? <laughs> She's so big. She'd go to the bottom of the ocean and die forever. <laughs> <laughs> that to me. <laughs> I need a moment. It was so I good. I need a moment. Oh, she would die forever. I'm not going to do the accent. I can't do you the should accent. Have. But yeah, but again, middle of the road. Yeah. Good, safe character. It, I, I got a little bit of Angela Johnson's nail salon stand up. The old mm-hmm. viral video from a couple Year, decades ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of tired of caring, Sugar King came up. Honey. Uh, honey, honey, baby. Uh, she was Charo. I loved her Charo character. Me too. I thought it was a great idea. I think she could have made bolder choices. I agree with the judges. I think, she, like, Charo is very, like, over the top. Charo never sits down for that long. Yes. Like, if you've ever, if you watch Charo on The Surreal Life, I don't know if you remember that show, uh-huh. but I loved her it was where they put a bunch of celebrities in a house yes it was like and it was just them living and Vern troyer may rest in peace uh got wasted one night and was riding his scooter around naked and Mm. peeing on walls Mm. google it um yeah so i thought her char was good then we had silky nutmeg ganache doing ts madison Silky as ts madison we had silky as ts madison was she doing ts madison or was she doing Silky just making T.S. Madison references. She was doing Silky making T.S. Madison references. Were they funny references? Yeah. Yeah. I love talking about Nine Inches. I thought I was funny. I love talking about a wig that's been chewed up by dogs. (laughs) I loved that comment. Now, did she know that? No, 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 she didn't. No, no, no. Um, But there's always a little bit of sloppy to her drag. I'm listening. <laughs> no, but like her, her crusty eyelashes that she wears over and over and over. And we all do it, but like we're not on TV. Like the crease is never cut. Yeah, she. It's kind of like you got those. So there's always a little like, bit like a little she has the parts, but they're just kind of put together in a sloppy way. Up next, <laughs> Miss Vanjie as the Cash Me Outside girl. I'm not even going to say her name because no one knows who it is. Mm-hmm. 
the Cash Me Outside girl. It was again, just like Silky, it was Miss Vangie making a reference. The strangest voice. Started strangest out, voice. it started out, she was like, hi Ru, I'm the old man from Family Guy. Yeah. <laughs> hi, <laughs> ooh. And then she moved to uh, her regular voice and no one commented yeah, on it. She just it, like, it. And then I stole credit cards. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she's entertaining. But the other judges bought it. Well, she's entertaining. Yeah. If you've never seen Vanjie before, if you're Tony Hale Vale, whatever, and or girl, Daniel uh, Magali, you are you're gonna be entranced by all that is Vanjie. Yes. If you haven't seen it week after week. Um. All right. And then finally, Evie Oddly is Whoopi Goldberg. Whew. Now I saw that she was struggling with her prop reveals and the glasses were falling off. So it's immediately chaotic to follow. She started by pouring the the awards out of her hat, which was kind of funny. People laughed at that, and I was like, okay. And then, they did. immediately Rue goes, uh, she's like, oh, oh no, then, okay. After she pours the awards out, Evie's like, yeah, cause it's been so long since I've had a, a, a role or something like kind of insulted Whoopi. Mm -hmm. And then like Rue was like, aren't you on The View? And she goes, yes, I am. And I was like, oh Oops. no, Oops. you should have a View reference if you're doing Whoopi. You should have one in your back pocket. You should have pocket. more references than yeah. The Color Purple and Dirty Feet. I mean, Ghost, Jumpin' Jack Flash, uh, The View. Sister Act. Sister, Sister Act. Act. Sister oh, Act 2, Back in the Habit. She fucked Ted Danson. Sleepless in Seattle. Yes. No, she had a movie with Ted Danson where she had a, uh, her- Jack. She had, she had a baby with Ted Danson, but Ted- Three men and a baby. Right? Wasn't her son? I don't know, but anyway, they fucked. All right, so before we move on, I wanted to play Snatch Game with you. Oh. Okay? Oh. So I pulled a few of the old Snatch Game questions from seasons past. Mm -hmm. And I already have my answer ready. So I want to I want to see what your answer would be. Oh boy! Okay. 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 There's a new dating app for drag queens. When you join, the first question they ask is, "How big is your blank? How big is, is your, your blank? blank?" I want to say, uh, my student loans from a theater degree. Mine would be if there's a dating app for drag queens. They ask they ask the drag queens, "How big is your father's disappointment?" Both of ours were really real. That kind of hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, let's drink it away. Up next, we have Lady Gaga has finally gone too far. Clearly, this is an old one. She wore a dress made of blank. I will say screenshots of Facebook statuses of people that studied abroad in Notre Dame. Very timely. <laughs> Mine. Lady Gaga has finally gone too far. She wore a dress made of a traditional Korean silhouette made of tulle, but she tied it in the back and it was a little sloppy and you could see the holes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. My oxygen. I'm running low on the supply. I can't breathe anymore. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Psycho Sally is so psycho. Instead of kissing her dates goodnight, she blanks them. She says, I'm your new mommy now, and gives him a big scaly hug. Mm, that is a <laughs> psycho move. That's a psycho move. <laughs> what would you? Mine was Psycho Sally, instead of kissing them goodnight, she would make them watch a super cut of Derek Barry and acting challenges. Woo! That's cruel. That's cruel. That's cruel. Hey, okay. That was great. Oh my God. After that, uh, after they do the snatch game, before the runway, there is an apology tour that happens. So we have Evie oh. apologizing to Silky, yes. sort of. She says, sorry I said you were talentless. Clearly you have talent. But then she added, I still stand behind all my other opinions in the past. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Take mental notes. And I thought Silky's response was great. She's like, I'm gonna do me. We don't have to like. We, we don't, don't have, have to, to pretend. Match. No, she was just very like. And then she's like, okay, I get that you're not feeling me, but I just wanted to say I'm sorry. And then Silky just goes, okay. <laughs> I was like, that. I. I mean, 
There's not a lot I agree with Silky, but that I agreed with that. It was her shitty. response to that, was so that half apology. That's the apology of like, I'm sorry you were upset. Um, and then we had Vanjie apologizing to Evie, and then Evie in turn actually apologizing to Vanjie mm. for their like little stupid fight that didn't need to happen. Ever. And they moved on. And they moved on. That's how. So we're done be. with the apology tour. So runway. Runway. Take it. Oh tour. God. Category it's... is sequence. So we have Rue uh, showing off her legs. Mm, I loved it. I do too. It's just like she rarely does. She rarely shows her legs. So every time she does, it's like seeing your teacher at the grocery store, <laughs> or like seeing a dog walk on hind legs. You're like, or three legs. All right, a curious C. Davenport as a zebra with a tail loves. Mm -hmm. Loves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Akira is just. She's killing it. She's this the season. tops. She's the tops. She's my pick. Yeah, I love her. Vanjie in a swimsuit and a cape. With a familiar silhouette. I know they were upset with the silhouette, but I kind of agree with what Evie said a few weeks ago when she's like, she brought what she brought. So at this point, like, oh no, wait. Like it probably was a curious. Or was it Raja? Or no. Whatever it is, the opinion yeah. was she, she brought, brought what she, she brought. brought. And she, and the look is beautiful yeah. for a sequin look. And I if I were in Banji's position, I kinda want a runway moment like, hey, this is what I brought. I know I look good. Mm -hmm. This works for me. You didn't mind it when Bianca Del Rio did it. I thought she looked good. Banji looked good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, Nina West. <laughs> In my favorite look she's done all season. Oh yeah. I loved it. The British are coming. Loved it. Loved it. Girl, okay, can I tell you? Last night yes, you can. at Sidetrack, someone was like, what is she wearing? And I was like, it's like an American Revolution costume. And then his friend goes, yes, yeah, stupid. Like the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Gays don't know math, no. science. How to read or history? No. And now thanks to prep, how to use a condom. <laughs> how to, uh, how? Oh my good. Honey, the Civil War. Honey, oh honey. Oh honey, I said the honey. Civil War. I, I don't Civil care. Oh no, girl, I stay in the north. You think I'm going to the South honey. Mason Dixon Line? I was no, taking honey. my American history test. I ran out of time. I said, hey, 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 hey. I said, good luck. I said, good luck. You scan hey, this hey, tron. Hey, hey. You scan my tron. Honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. I forgot to put my name on the scan tron. The teacher said, who got a 60? I said, honey, baby, me. I said, honey, it might be me, honey. Okay. <laughs> We're so, monsters. Yeah, we are. Oh, so Nina looked great. Uh, <laughs> speaking of honey, honey, sugar cane. Looks the best she's ever looked and ever will. She looked, she did look amazing in this flamenco purple amazing. sequin. And I saw a close up picture of it when she posted it on Twitter or something. Mm -hmm. And there are small like sequins, but then there's also like the larger palettes, pal palettes, palettes. palettes. I don't know. Palettes. Um, kind of mixed in, yeah. And there's like roses. It's just really beautiful. And you know what? I have to give a shout out to her breast contour. Yeah, oh, she yes. has her boobies. Unclockable oh, until right. she turns a little and you see the top. But yes. Well, the 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 boobies with Charo. I was trying to figure out how she did that the entire time. I, I was don't staring ever, at the breast contour like I don't ever do contour. I should. I just do chest hair. Brooklyn Heights. This is the picture. I guess, <laughs> Brooklyn, Heights. Uh, Brooklyn Heights. When she first walked out, I was like, Oh no! Mm. Why is she wearing an afro? Mm. And then the reveal, <laughs> and everyone lost their minds. Yes. It was screamed. Yeah. Gooped, ooped, and cooped. Update flashback. She actually has a similar outfit and she used to do the same reveal, but it's fringe. So she got an update and she did a sequin for the show, which I love. All right. She was, I think, I haven't seen any other queen do it. I think she was the first queen I've seen do that reveal, but I've seen other queens after she did that reveal replicate that reveal and I was like, is she a pioneer for the poncho afro reveal? Sure. She's not a pioneer like Nina West is. <laughs> no, that's like the, like the Civil Like the Civil War. Like the Civil War, Evie. Dummy. Dummy. <laughs> <laughs> then we had Evie. I loved the jumpsuit. The hair. So good. Oh. No. Uh, yes. What? I love the hair. The jumpsuit? Uh, I mean, the jumpsuit wasn't bad. I, I just think she should have, like, padded with the jumpsuit, but... The hair? What? You didn't like the hair? Let's not talk about this. How do I get you alone, heart? I, it just, it, it didn't match the jumpsuit. It was jumpsuit a different era. Hair. It was a different era. 
Well, this, the challenge was sequin. So she needs to match to the jumpsuit, not to the hair. Mm, you got a good argument and I don't have anything. This is the end of our show. <laughs> then we had Silky. It was fine. I have seen that coat on every drag I queen was about to in say, the world. Is that coat not it on is that drag coat. Com forward oh. slash garbage file? I it's just it's on everyone. It's on everyone. It's the first coat you get. You get this, and you it's get it's like a drag queen starter kit. Yeah, you get this, and you get like a cropped leather jacket, like a bolero, and that wig. I got her. Then we have plastique. I kept seeing her nipples, and it bothered me. Oh, please. Yeah. Women have nipples. I know. Free the nipple. But, um... She looked great. Yeah. She looked great. I just didn't Did care she not look orange? I just wanted a diamond on the nipple or something. You know, I... What, where were the sequins, though? I, were they just giant sequins around? Uh, I think she just interpreted it as shiny. Okay. But remember... She delivered the line, she'd be at the bottom of the ocean and die forever. <laughs> that's... And die forever. That's... So interpretation is very So, loose. yeah, it doesn't matter. She can do whatever she wants. Spare some wine, please. Also, Brooklyn tweeted today that Plastique loaned her that blonde hair that she had under the afro. Oh. We're not going to include that. Charity. That's just too... It's too deep. We went too oh, deep. Oh, that's good. Uh, we had Akira and um, Plastique were safe, yes. which I agree with that. Yeah. Um, the tops of the tops were um, Nina West, mm -hmm. Suga, and mm -hmm. Silky. Mm -hmm. The bottoms of the bottom, Brooklyn, Evie, and Banshee. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, we find out that Silky won. Mm -hmm. Do we agree? I think, honestly, Nina... And sugar kind of killed this week. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think, uh, I think Silky delivered what she delivers every week. Yeah, I didn't think it was like a standout week for I her. I think what pushed Silky though into the spotlight was her improvised interactions with Plastique, and they always love seeing yeah being able to go off the rails with your character. Yeah. And making those bold, bold choices alone sets you so far apart from other well, characters. Well, I agree that Tony did say, like, it, she was very yes and. She was very improv. Oh, she Lord, responded to everything have. around her. Mm -hmm. So I agree with that. You're right. And, and maybe we didn't see everything. But from what we saw, it was very strong for Nina and Suga, including yes, their yes. runway. And I don't think Silky's runway was that strong. Mm, how important is the runway to I can the never decision? tell. I can never tell. Yeah. I mean, Brooklyn had the most amazing runway. They like literally. They said it was screamed. legendary. They they and she was still in the bottom too. So I don't know that the runway really matters. I think I don't think having an amazing runway will help. I think having a shitty runway will hurt you. Do a great. Just runway. be passing. Yeah. Except what for else? Violet Chachki, I feel like that's all she did was have good runways, and she won. True. Oh, that's true. Poor Violet. She's what has she done? Poor. Continuing rich. To be rich. I am rich sure. Violet. Rich Violet. <laughs> so then we had Evie and Brooklyn at the bottom. Do you know, I was I was ready to see a couple's lip sync battle. I was ready to oh, see Brandon go cute. at it. Well, they just would have fucked. <laughs> I would have watched that. Yeah. We had such a legendary lip A legendary lip sync, lip -sync between oh. two gymnasts. Oh my gosh. Very flexible ladies. Gumby and Gumby's cousin. Oh my gosh. Gumby, Gumby, no, Evie, Gumby, was <laughs> like jumping around. I mean, truly, it was like- A wig reveal. Joints be damned, had a wig reveal. Brooklyn, like she saw Evie doing things, so she gets on her head, starts pulling her legs around. Evie's like, oh, you got your legs up? I'm gonna put my legs up. I mean, everything was just like so good. It was so fun to watch. It was like listening to each other, not listening, but like one-upping each other, but in a playful way. Yeah, it was so, super fun to watch. And th that's how you do a double Shantae performance. Yes. I think Legendary. we are deserving of... I hate double Shantae's because I feel like it's a waste of an episode. Oh. However. However. This double Shantae, I was like, Absolutely. Yes. 100%. Well, I wouldn't Let's watch All Stars 4 if you hated Double Shante. They're both saved. End of episode. Yes. Snatch Game overall thoughts. 
overall thoughts. Um, I think uh, it was it, fine. It's fine. It's not one for the history books. No, but it's it's always fun to watch. You always get really excited for Snatch Game. So I always compare even when they're bad. Every Snatch Game to uh, season seven, even though season seven was like a little dry overall, but uh, Ginger Minja's Adele. Pearl as Big Ange. Pearl as Big Ange. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Kennedy as uh, Little Richie. Oh. I was laughing the whole time. I yeah. was like, ooh, a shut up! So, now we've reached comment of the week. Yes. And for those of you who follow us on social media, you have probably already know what this is. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's one of my favorite comments we've ever gotten. Uh, I live for I think it deserves a beautiful, dramatic performance. Yes. Yeah, so I would like uh, to now read to you... The comments, um, here, actually, Alexis, will you take my wine? I have to, I need both hands. <laughs> you guys complaining about how long RuPaul's Drag Race is and the dumb dialect because of the time slot they have to fill? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. But y'all don't have a time slot. This is 33 minutes and 58 seconds and probably... 10 minutes of it. It's just y'all talking about actual drag race. The other shit is talking about absolutely dumb, boring, and ridiculous. Dot, dot, dot. Nobody gives a fuck. Before you talk shit about something, make sure you're not doing the same shit. And please, God, shut the fuck up. Up and just talk about the show. Sum it up! Get it the fuck over with and end the goddamn episode. You guys make me want to stab my fucking eyes out! <laughs> Y'all have no personalities! No, I am not at all. Five exclamation points. Talking all monotone! OMG! Four exclamation points. <laughs> and C. C. <laughs> Bravo! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was ever. marvelous. Oh, Comment of the week. Comment of the series. So far. Oh, Emmy. Let's be honest. It was lovely having mm. you on board. Mm. Um, speaking of ONG, um, here, why don't you take yeah. over? Oh, yes. You sit here. Oh, you know what? Take oh. You sit here. Take seat. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Hi. So, if you, uh, do you watch Game of Thrones? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. I wrote the first there. 30 pages and too many people died, and I was like, I'm scared. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. But. There, um, so I started a new web series called OMG GOT, where me and a guest go over our top five favorite moments of each new episode of the final season, and actually this week... Dixie Lynn Cartwright is going to be my guest. Oh. I've never seen an episode. She's never seen an episode. <laughs> so my top five moments are going to be like, I liked when the blonde girl was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be really interesting. So yeah. uh, head over to my channel, Alexis Bevels, if you want. If you watch it, spoiler alert, there's spoilers. And they're short. So for those they're of you short. who don't like long stuff, it's like yeah. 15 minutes. Amy, head on over. Uh, yeah, hello. Oh, Amy, you will love it. You All they it. do is talk about the episode. Yeah, but we do talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. she's art, so she's already stabbed her fucking eyes out. So like, it doesn't matter what you. Well, look you can like, listen. So you can just listen to the. Monitor. But it's gonna be monitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank we'll you. We'll so make much. sure to put that link in the bio. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for those who have tipped yes, so far. Uh, we have gotten some good tips. Some uh, lovely, yeah, some lovely, tips. lovely. Uh, we'll scroll the names. Um. So yeah, please keep doing that because uh, now I can afford to eat once a week. All right, well, that is all. This is a very long episode. We thank you for sticking with us, and uh, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Happy Easter. Oh, you going to do it? Happy yeah. Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> I'm not going to celebrate a man who makes children find eggs.